Stock I'm tracking today is Tesla off a new note from Piper Sandler saying investors should be proactively buying at this point. Analyst Alexander Potter published a note on Wednesday highlighting the recent Tesla vehicle price cuts and the stock's downturn over the last several months as catalysts for the next leg upward for Tesla shares. Piper Sandler points out that including the $7,500 federal tax credit, Tesla's Model Ys are now far more affordable. Now a graph in the note showed Model Ys had been more expensive than large SUVs like a Chevrolet Suburban or GMC Yukon and are now back in the price range of mid-sized SUVs like a Ford Explorer and even cheaper than a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Piper argues the price cuts could boost U.S. demand by 300 to 600,000 vehicles. Dave, that graph really did stick out to me, though, when you talk about the fact that a Tesla Model Y was more expensive than those major large vehicles that fit eight people. But now getting back to earth, I think, a little bit and maybe being more competitive with some other stocks in the mar- or some other cars in the market. Yeah, look, it, you had to be nervous in, initially about the margins and how much mm-hmm. they would shrink with this dramatic $13,000 price cut. But it just, to your point, broadens the customer base so much and almost erases a little bit of that Twitter hangover if he would just shut up. I mean, that, that is the one problem he can't get out of his own way in terms of turning off customers. We talked about how Elon's favorability has been cut in half over the last year since he's been speaking out so politically. But yes, this opens up a whole new customer base. Ross Gerber, albeit a massive Tesla bull, said the bullish case for Tesla is now stronger than ever. And he was very critical of the Twitter mm-hmm. situation as well. So yeah, it appears to be play- paying off.